Once upon a time, kids will have to go outside to play a game with friends. Uh, most time, they want to get up to change the TV channel manually, and will have to walk three miles to school, uphill both ways, a little further the road. Kids have access to a new fangu technology, and their parents are struggling to keep up with it all. And if you're a parent or a teenager, even almost a teenager, you may already be familiar with the pressure. But still, the numbers are still shocking. It's still your number one health radio this morning, and it's Pinnacle Health Radio. I want to welcome you again to another exciting program, It Matters. And today we look at safe phone conversation. You know, uh, we believe parents have their need to be equipped on how to help their children manage phone calls in order to stay to stay safe because when you start asking a kid how they are will you handle a civil conversation you'll be so shocked with a lot of responses from them we want to make it so simple and make it clarified today the still matters i remain somewhere hala we will go for a quick break right now when we return uh, we'll be looking at the news we are tracking at the moment don't go away stay tuned after this break It is Ed Mar Morning and it's T, your number one health radio, a pinnacle health radio. Are uh, we looking at uh, what's the best way? Uh, just like uh, when we engage our children in a phone call drill, and to the shock of parents who are present, many children there could not undo a safe phone conversation. Uh, most of your child get a horse call, does he or she know what to do? And the question is, are you equipped? and how to help your children manage phone calls in order to stay safe. Uh, this morning, uh, we'll be connecting uh, Julie Mogbo, a uh, child uh, therapist, a uh, sexuality expert too, and also a bond nurse. I want you to look at uh, major factors that run us on what should parents do when it comes to safe phone conversation because this is coming more. This is a, a summertime, uh, kids on break. Uh, we takes a lot of conversation on phone, in, inappropriate text conversation. Even they, they, they receive a lot of inappropriate images. And there are a lot of policy, we believe, that might be regarding cell phone, especially use in school. Maybe talk or test while driving. Uh, maybe a uh, parent, sometimes parents are not even reluctant to get a smartphone for their kids. In all honesty, it becomes harder and harder even to say no. We all remember being on the other hand, but everyone else has one now. And it's how frustrating it felt when your parent didn't understand. But so we try to understand because we remember feeling excluded, you know, from their generation. That's how kids is going to look. <clears throat> so sorry. And we don't want to put our kids through that same routine. But the most important thing is we don't want it to be like a torture. But is there a tip? Is there something that they can do as parents of a teenager with a smartphone? What are you responsible for? What are you responsible to do? This is what we're looking at today. Is it, is, does it have to come to restricting the amount of time your teenagers spend on ease on our phone? Maybe in, uh, this include test, call, data you say. How do you encourage, you know, your kids, how do you encourage activities to draw your child or teenager back uh, into the real world? We have Julie Mobo uh, connecting us today on Morning Show. Hello, Julie Mobo. You, uh, welcome to Earth Matters. Yeah, we have Julie B. Mogul. Uh, how are you doing today, Julie? Very well, thank you. Nice to hear from you. All right, uh, we, we're we so glad you're connecting us today. Uh, you make a post on your Facebook timeline recently uh, about yeah. your conversation with children. Uh, you on you, you engage them in a phone call drill. And to the shock of parents yeah. who are present, many could not undo a safe phone conversation. Yeah. Now, I want to come to this point of what is a safe phone conversation? How does it appeal to a to an adult and also to a kid? Okay, when you have a, a, same fo a safe phone conversation, is such that you, as the receiver okay. of that phone call, is not being manipulated. You, as the receiver of the phone call, is not forced to do something that you would normally not do. Mm. At the end of that phone conversation, you are not about to take a decision that you don't want any other person to be aware of. Mm. 
you have a safe phone conversation when you're not anxious, when you're not left anxious, when you're not left afraid, when you're not left in doubt, when you are not left to uh, have that feeling of you are at the end of the road, you are not being blackmailed, you are not being manipulated. So whether it applies to an adult or a child, you at any point should not feel less than how you would have originally felt before you had that phone conversation. All right, well, that's put me in more on a beat. I am not manipulated when I'm taking a call. What we bring mm -hmm. in manipulation? Manipulation to do what? Now, in the era where we are, where people are trying to make money off innocent people, okay. where people are trying to kidnap, they are looking for devious ways to make money. Mm. So what could bring about manipulation? The, you... Uh, for someone who wants to kidnap, the person would want to find a way to deceive the recipient of that call or the potential victim. Hmm. So you want that person to do your will. You want to have your desires met at the end of the day. So you find conversations, you find facts, you gather information that would help you achieve your aim as a hawk's color. So... What could bring about manipulation? Greed could result into that. Maybe uh, one is also being manipulated. Okay. So we are trying to somebody deceiving them, somebody playing a trick on them at this stage. Yes. So let's come to kids now. Well, this is mm. summertime. Uh, even I almost want to ask. I think we've passed that. Uh, Tenno, whereby parents are still thinking of when is the right time for me to start to get a phone for my kids. Maybe I should ask you that question. Is there a age range where parents should decide I should get a phone or a smartphone for the kids at home? Okay, now that that should come as a result of uh, conscious deliberation in the family, maybe between both parents or whoever the guardian of the child is. Mm. If they see it as a necessity, the question is, why do you want to give your child a phone? There could be a situation whereby you step out, your children do not have a phone, and you frantically are trying to reach to them. You realize you are unable to do so, and then it just dawns on you. Wow, if they had a phone, I would have been able to reach them. Maybe I should consider giving them a phone. So there are situations that could make parents want to give their children a phone. So the why is very important for parents to sit down. Even when you come up with the different whys as to uh, giving a child a phone, sit down and look for all the alternatives. Okay. Because the phone, as much as useful as it is, it could also be a tool of manipulation. It could be a tool that could cause a family sorrow for, for, for life. So why do you want to give your child a phone? You can have a seven-year-old have a phone. It may not necessarily be a smartphone. Okay. I think that in this era, leaving your children without phones is not safe. Mm. Leaving them with phones could also be not safe, especially if they are not empowered on how to use the phone. So you, you say your phone right now required a training. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, kids now today want to use a phone. I think we've come across many people just, I just want a smartphone. I want to be in social media. Uh, I want us to look at the aspect of uh, this manipulation. Kids at this time, how is the best way to start conversation? Actually, kids with people over the phone. Uh, I want you to use a case study because this is things I know you're familiar with. Can we have a yeah. case study, something that actually happened recently, uh, maybe on Prosy, but this actually is what happened, and this is the way somebody how they can s take himself on a play safe in a conversation like that. Okay, I would, I'll begin with, thanks for that question, I will begin with one of the trainings that we had. Right. And thankfully, parents were asking, should we be there? I said, oh, you're welcome. So parents came in and they were observing the training. So we put some children through, all of them actually. That's why when we conduct our trainings, we just take a few numbers so that we can concentrate on each child. Okay. So we took them on a phone call drill. Then you ask the question, oh, hello, good morning. Okay. 
So that's yeah, and then you begin to. Are we getting a, a network drift there? Hello, Julia, was it there? Yeah, hello, Julie. Okay, we'll try to connect Julie back right now. And there's still a uh, looking on safe conversation, a uh, phone call. Yeah, we we'll try to connect Julie back. I think we're having a network issue here yeah, back on the phone. Now, remember, it's the light matters. We're talking about parents learning how to uh, equip their children or uh, managing phone calls in order to stay safe. Keep connecting uh, Julie back. All right, uh, then we we beat that on the break right now. Okay. It is Ed Matters on the wheel. This is Ed Matters on the wheel. Trust you, do it fine. Don't go away. The baby needs a kid for the mother. A child is meant to play. Oh, it's a time to bond with my child. All right, we have Julie back in the studio. Hello, Julie. Yes, I'm here. Okay, uh, I think it was a network issue. So I think got that rectified. Okay, uh, you tried to refer to how uh, a case study, how a foundry went. Yes. So the child received the phone call. Oh, hello. How are you? And he said, I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. Then, um, where's mommy? Then the child revealed where the mommy went to. Okay. And at that point, I took an eye and I looked at the mom. The mom went like, ah. He said, okay, how about your sister? And then he said, okay, my sister is this. My brother is this. Even without being asked, the child went on to reveal information about his siblings. And that's when the, the parents opened their mouth. So now the, the, there was another child who picked up a phone call and then the child just said, I'm not talking to you. Well, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> so we, what we did was to get the children to know that you received that phone call. You should be in charge of that phone conversation. It's kind of dicey in a cultural setting where a child is not meant to, where being assertive as a child appears to be uh, stubbornness. So a child is unable to take charge of a phone conversation. Even when the person is not physically present, the person is ordering you around or the person is commanding you or asking for certain information, the child is afraid and cannot withhold information and is giving it out. Even though the person cannot, the person is not there physically, the person can't slap you, can't hit you, but the child is unable to take charge of that phone conversation. So we have had situations where children have been uh, um, they've, they've been be followed through, yes, for a long time until they are able to meet with their predators. Wow. And parents are oftentimes not aware. For those who want to either rape them, those who want to, at the end of the day, kidnap them, they want to get them to a place where they are alone and they can carry out their devious act. So it's not something they just do suddenly. So, so they get to, to, to gain the trust of that child, child so that they are able to do what they want to do. Now, I think that this has a role of parent in right now. Uh, parent understanding how the child is using that phone and how they can keep out their eyes out for suspicious behavior. What would the role of parent be in us? Most times, right now, we are parent most times. I don't want to say they are not child and they still feel they are safe. But let's come to what should the parent do, you know? How you will know that something is fishing, the red flags, how, 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 there's just something parents should be able to be looking for? My dear, I think I'm a parent mm. and I get busy. But when I talk to parents, I actually tell, we, we, we need to tell ourselves the truth. We need to do a lot more than we are doing. Neglect is not necessarily when a parent is not available. Neglect is when the parent is not available. An adequate plan is not made hmm. for the safeguarding of a child. If the parent is not around, what plans have you put on ground to ensure your child's safety? So when you uh, you give your child a phone, you don't necessarily have to even give your child a phone. Your, phone, your child could pick up your own phone, maybe not his or her own personal phone. So what should parents look out for? Watch your children handle phone calls. Hmm. Sometimes when the phone rings, ask them to pick up the call hmm. and observe how they handle it. 
Many adults don't even know how to take or receive phone calls, let alone children. That we have observed. So someone picks up a phone and asks you a question, you go straight ahead and you respond. Even if the person calls you your name. So when we do our training, we that, that, that there's, 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 a, there's a book on that post. I did a picture of uh, the book I, I, I wrote on... The copy uh, of the phone sexuality phone. book. Okay, you, you talked about uh, using the HRT strategy. Yes, using the ART strategy. So we teach children certain skills that they need to have. When the, when the caller is known, hmm. when the caller is not known, okay. when it's a, an unknown caller ID, what do you do? Then when you mistakenly pick a call you did not originally intend to pick, what do you do? So those are the things. So parents need to be observant to know how their children answer phone calls. Okay. Need to be observant to know if their children are quick to give out information. And it's not okay to instill fear in children. Why did you do that? No, you don't give information like that. Do you know what could happen to you? You could be kidnapped. You could be this. You could be that. I've had a parent, not really a parent, a grandparent tell her own grandchild that if you continue like this, you will just be kidnapped and will not will not bail you out. Wow. Will not pay the ransom. So, now you don't you don't say that to children. To children. Okay. You don't say that to, to children. You don't instill fear in them. All right, uh, I think this is really a serious issue here today on Earth Matters. Uh, Julie Mogbo, you have been uh, so much more. I think uh, what I just want to hear from you right now is just, this is about summertime. Uh, I don't even know, maybe they, most of these kids are almost on the point of neglect. What should yeah. parents do? I was saying we should safeguard this phone or put them through or things. I just want to hear a uh, parent how there to get this thing serious because I think we'll be having a lot of issues of parental responsibility and being weakened these days. But thanks to people like you and all programs that have been coming up right now to get parents mm -hmm. back on their feet again. So let's know, mm -hmm. parent, this is what you should do at this moment to help and to say because a kid being manipulated might not even not to kidnap him or her. Even might be, mm -hmm. it might be a target to the, to the parent at home. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah. uh, parents out there, you know, you've talked about them being observant. Is there something more of a practical things to do at this okay. moment? Okay. So, for 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 the parents, it's important that they make out time to establish a strong relationship with their children. Okay. I promote family bonding, and bonding can be strengthened through constant communication. Okay. So, do not just stop at how was school today, hmm. how was your summer program. Go further to find out. So what friend did you make today? Who did you meet today? Did you quarrel with them? Did you have any issues or problems or difficulties while at your program? Watch and listen to what your child would say. If your child is not willing to give out any information, don't leave it there. Ask why. Gently probe further to know. So go beyond the, oh, how was school? Welcome. You look good. Don't go beyond the academic performance. Dig, uh, dig further to know what your child is feeling, why your child is feeling that, and help them understand their feelings. That is one. Secondly, if they can make out time to be with their children this summertime, mm. please, they should do that. If they cannot, like in, in, in that book, there's, there's, there's something that we... Uh, designed to help our parents to ensure that if you're not available, you know that someone else is available. They are setting guidelines to that as well. So if you're not around, who is in charge of your child? How well do you trust that person? Are you the one imposing that person on your child? Does your child trust that person? So parents need to look out for those they can trust to safeguard their children even while they are not around. And that should not be an everyday affair. Parents, you have your children, you are the primary uh, responsible persons for their own safekeeping. All right, parents uh, should have that. All right, I want to say thank you so much, uh, Julie B. Mogbo, uh, popularly known as the Bond, uh, if I'm right. The Family Bond the Nurse. The Family Bond <laughs> Nurse. I want to say thank you yeah. so much, uh, really, for connecting us today on Earth Matters, making parents out there to see a need uh, to stand up and get on their feet on the right parenting. Thank you so, so much for all the work that you are doing with this. If parents listen in, definitely we are, we are closer to a sinner world. Yes, we so believe in that. Thank you so much and you have a wonderful day. All right, it's still yeah, sure. at Matters.